All right. Hello and welcome to Be Happy Beekeeping. My name is Lonnie and we've had quite a few requests here about how to light the smoker and keep it going. I guess that's the trick. So that's what we're going to do today. And we'll start by opening this up and cleaning it out from the last time. You can see a lot of ash in here. You want to make sure it's out. Don't start your yard on fire. Again. All right. We start with paper. I use old paper, scrap paper. This actually came from the pharmacy. I like to hold it down in the smoker a little bit because it's windy. And I'm just going to get that paper down in there. Just get it lit on fire really good. Now you want to be careful because these flames can really come out of here. Now, if you keep your back to the wind, what's going to happen is it's going to create a circle effect and burn you. So you want the wind to go this way and carry it away from you. Or this way, whichever way the wind may happen to be going. Just turn. All right, that's going good. And here's what I collect. This works the best for me, pine straw. And uh, it's abundant in a lot of places. We'll get a little bit in there and maybe a couple of these wood stove pellets. Sometimes we find broken bags of these for just a few dollars at a hardware store or Walmart. I don't think Walmart has them, but Orchard or anywhere like that. So what I want to do after I've got a little bit of pine straw in there is just get this hot. And you can tell that smoke's really coming out of there. you got to be careful. Don't do this at home unless you have experience with a smoker or you're an adult. Children, don't do this without an adult. So once you get this pumping and you saw the smoke was heavy, now it's on fire. So we have a hot coal in there. Now we can put our pine straw in there and it's going to go all day. And I don't have to worry about if I walk off for 30 minutes, is it going to go out? So we've got some dry pine straw in there and I'll put a few of these pellets in just to help hold the coal. And then I'll continue to put in pine straw. And I kind of like to just get a handful, kind of fold it in half, and bunch it down in there. And then it's been really dry, and this is going to burn really hot. Bees don't like hot smoke. You can tell it's still going good. So what I have over here is a sprayer and some pine straw that I sprayed earlier with water. I'll just go over it a little bit. This is just something I like to do. You don't have to do this. And I like to put that in the top. And that's going to give the bees some nice, cool smoke. If you want to make bees mad, smoke them with hot smoke. And you can tell by their response pretty quickly. Okay, this smoker should run for... We'll probably use it till refuel around... I would guess three, four o'clock, but we'll be working and using it all day as well. If you're not using it a lot just here and there, it's gonna last longer. So there it is, this is a very tall commercial smoker. If you use smokers a lot, I would just recommend that you go to Dedant and just order the most expensive one there is. It's like $100 and I mean, you pay for what you get. If you're gonna be using a junk smoker, um, you know, you may get by with a hive or two, but if you're doing it all the time, you're gonna need something that'll work. Nice heat shield here, and it just goes. It's the second year on this one, and uh, it holds a lot, and that's what I like. Well, that's all. This should go all day. Be happy.